All right, so this is the PDM network diagram from the last video, and what we want to do is now that we have it, we want to construct the, the table of dependencies. All right, so all we have to do is just, uh, well, first of all, figure out what are all the activities we have. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So let's go ahead and write these down. All right, now we just have to figure out what the, the logic is. So first of all, you can kind of start wherever you want, but the easiest one is find the beginning, the very first activity. There's obviously no predecessors for it, so we can just put a dash in there. And then once you've done that, you can either work forwards by, you know, saying, well, look, B, there's only one arrow coming into it. So we have, uh, well, actually, yeah, let's do that. So let's start with this activity B. Uh, it has one predecessor, only A leads into it. All right. Uh, activity C only has one arrow leading into it, and that arrow comes from A, so A is its predecessor. Alright, uh, and now let's actually just jump, uh, just for demonstration purposes, you can start at the back too if you wanted and work your way uh, from right to left. So if we were looking at maybe activity H, it has two predecessors, right? There's two arrows coming in. Uh, so we have G is coming in and F is coming in, so it depends on G and F. So H depends on G and F. Okay, what about F? What does F depend on? Well, just one arrow from C is coming into it, leading into it, so it only depends on C. So that was F, C. So as you see, you know, we can just jump around here. It doesn't, uh, it's totally up to you which ones you want to do. Just make sure you don't get confused or mixed up. Uh, let's take a look at G. What's G's predecessors? Well, G can start once D and E are both done. So G, that was D and E. All right, uh, what else do we need? We still need D and E. So D depends only on B, right? The only arrow leading into D is from B. And what's the last one we need? E. The predecessor for E is just C, right? The only arrow leading into C, uh, or leading into E is from C, so E can start once C is done. All right, there we go. And lastly, um, depending on what you're what you're asked to put in your table of dependencies. Um, in the next videos, we'll actually learn a few other things that we could include here, but for this video, the only information we have is the activity name and the duration. So we might as well just draw the durations in, uh, and we would just read them right off here. For example, A would be three, and so on. And there you go. That is how we just make the table of dependencies if we are given the PDM network diagram.